Little one, can you help me? I'm looking for some friends. Do the names Hjor and Luf... Mm. I think I know that name. A woman. She's from Biamiland. Very smart. She sounded funny, so I asked her once. Hope it wasn't rude of me. You want to speak to the dot master, Grigory. I've seen him talking with her before. My thanks. What do you Hi, friend. Could you help me find some of my people? I'm looking for Kjor. I know him. Are you a friend? I am. Then you will get no help from me, or any of the other merchants for that matter. Now, if you don't mind. Hmm. Bitter. I'm looking for some friends. Been told to ask around this harbor. Lufina and Hjor. Oh, ho, ho. sure, I know plenty. Of that, I'm certain. I should be cautious around here. And what about me? Move along now. We were at a clean dock in Jorvik. You must be the dock master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if your wares have been seized, take it up with the council. These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Hjor and Lufina. You know Hjor and Lufina? What business do you have with them? Yes, I know them. Now you seem to know them too. Point me in the right direction. In a manor surrounded by flowers. That's where Hjor and Lufina live. How about some coin for my trouble? How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. Here, this is their home. The place has been ransacked. And this body, it's not your or Lufjana. Scattered scrolls. Thief was looking for something. There was a struggle here. Looks like it continued outside. Blood, but no body. Which way did they go? Is this one of the thieves? Hmm. The trail continues. Lara of Tengri! Rairos of... Who is that? Come closer! Now! It's... It's me, Lufina. It's Eivor. Eivor? What? Who sent you? Are you at them? Breathe, Lufina. You're rattled. You know me. I am a... Are you? You show up here like this. These people tried to kill me. I heard there was trouble in Jorvik. I have only come to help. On my honor. Sorry, Eivor. I did not mean to doubt you. It has been a tense few weeks. Who were they? Why were they after you? They were after this. 
I do not know what it is, but these men were ready to kill me for it. A poor fellow soldier of Christ. You know him? I've seen a letter like this before, in London. This city is in great danger. Where's your? At the Royal Hall. I will take you there. Pull up your hood. We may not be safe just yet. This way. They are still looking for me. Hide low. We can slip past them. I think so, too. She can't have gotten far. Look around. Hey, now. You're finished! Let's keep moving. This way. Let's go. Did you hear something? Keep an eye out. I think it is safe now. Gods, Eivor. Your arrival could not be better timed. Call it fate. I had hoped our paths would cross again, though I imagined a calmer reunion. We fled to find ourselves embroiled in another. While King Richier is preoccupied with the money shortage, a group called the Red Hand has been imposing their will. The ones who attacked you? Yes and no. They are bandits, but someone is controlling them. Look no further than the names in that letter. Killing them is the reason I'm here. But they are coded. They... There's Jorn! Jorn! It pleases me to see you, old friend. All are welcome here in Jorvik. It's good to find you well, Jor. Both of you. What are you doing here? You have not come all this way for the Yuletide. I've come to warn you, old warrior, about a rut in your city. Three figures, corrupt and dangerous. We should work together to bring them into the light and kill them before they come to power. However I may help, I am ready. Slow yourselves. Eivor, we cannot just go running around the city, poking and prodding and killing at will. They nearly did me, Jor. What? These people sent the Red Hand after her, ready to shed blood in your streets to keep themselves a secret. But they failed. Uh, this is the letter that was sent to our home. The Needle, the Firebrand, the Vault. They belong to a group called the Order of Ancients. These are their assumed names. Our leads. Listen to him, Jor. He has dealt with their kind before. Corruption has seeped its way into Jorvik. But King Rishi's hands are full, which means my hands are full. Counsel on this matter will fall on deaf ears. I do not want his counsel. All I have told you stays between the three of us. But you should introduce me to the king. 
I will need to align with him if we are to go about this freely. The Picts are winning this war! We should be scraping together every ounce of silver to procure food for our men! Understood, dear Farafid, but we also have a responsibility to our townspeople. The Yule Tide must go on! Enough! The more you argue, the more my head hurts. Cure! I was not aware we had company. The likes of which I did not approve. King Rhysia, I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Well, Eivor of the Raven Clan, as you can see, I'm in the middle of something. Cure, perhaps for lack of better judgment, deems it necessary that you interrupt. Why? You have a problem in Jorvik. Yes, I'm looking at it. A problem that nearly got my friend killed. Lufina was attacked by the Red Hand. They raided her home, destroyed her property, and chased her through the streets. Those bloody scoundrels again! She survived, but the Red Hand has been a growing problem here of late. And what is your stake in this? Are you some sort of wandering mercenary? No. This is Sigurd Jarl's Drenger. Took our old camp by the river Nene, as I hear it. I am Farhavid, war chief to Haftan Ragnarsson, and this well-fed wastrel is Aldun, High Reef of Jorvik. I have seen rebel groups like this before. They sit and wait, and the moment you lower your guard, they spring up like weeds. If left alone, they will take Jorvik out from under you. Not what you want. Not what Hafton wants. Oh dear. What do you want? Tell me what you know about the Red Hand, and I will rid your city of them. You can go about your affairs. They've been sticking their hands in coffers around the city, targeting nobles, merchants, and anyone else they can throttle. And they are growing, as you said. I would rather not be worrying about them come Yuletide. This is not something we can afford to ignore. If we do not have the means to deal with the Red Hand, we should let Eivor. Do what you can, but do it quietly. I do not want the po- Cure. Send funds to procure food and ale for Faravid's men. And make sure there's enough left over for the feast. But it's as I said. We don't have- Find it. I have spoken. Tells me to find more silver. Where? In a dragon's hoard? Come, I will take you back to Lufina. She will know where to begin. I cannot tell if that went the way you had hoped. It went well enough. Rishi will stay out of my way. No one can argue the Red Hand must be dealt with. Speak a word of this to no one. A circle of trust must stay between the three of us. You will forgive me for stepping away. I grow weary of those pissing contests. Uh, my love, I am sorry for what happened. I should have been there. Nonsense. You have your duties to fulfill. Besides, a few bandits is hardly something to worry over. I am only glad you were not harmed. Eivor, I will be around if you need me. Once you catch the tail, you do not let go. Old habits die with the struggle. Yours has changed. Softened. It takes... It takes the Norse out of a Norse. I'm happy for him. And you as well. You have made something of yourselves here. Perhaps. What do you have there? Christian texts, the Gospels, Ecclesiastes, the Revelation of John. The Red Hand steals all they can find. We may run the city now, but the Christians must still be allowed to worship as they see fit. Seems the Red Hand disagrees. What's more, Althon is worried they will come for the Archives next. Between this and all the uproar at the harbor, I would say we have some leads. What does the Red Hand want with Christian texts? That is the question. 
Whatever it is, there is no length they will not go to to retrieve them. They have even burned people alive who refuse to hand over what they demand. Where is the largest collection of texts in the city? The Archives. But they haven't been so bold as to attack it yet. Aldon keeps a close eye on the place. I will try my luck there. I went by the harbor when I first arrived. The Duckmaster looked wary when I asked about you. That does not surprise me. He's been using Jorvik's money shortage to increase taxes. As if he's been ordered to by the Council. Jor would never wrong the people like that, even if Rishie demanded it. The Dark Master is a thief and a liar. A man in need of a throttling. I will have another look around the harbor. Try the merchant's wares. I will get started at once. No, I need you here. Listen to the voices in this hall. Look for any signs, changes in behavior, anything. I would swallow a horse heart to join you, Eivor. I know, old friend. Your loyalty is why I need you here. I will return when I find something. by the Red Hand. The Order has a stake in these darks. What are you doing? You're supposed to be in the market. I know, I... <laughs> I forgot which hey! merchants to collect from. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Black cloth on their stores. God's never you mind. sells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. Seized exotic wares. These are worth plenty. Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. <laughs> I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver pass through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master? Sorry. Who are you? Someone who wants to do business. With Grigori. I don't know your face, 
And I've said too much already. Please, go. Psst. Psst. Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend a large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the east gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Oh, me? <laughs> Please. I've a bigger sword than a lot of them. Mass. And a black cloth marking the house. Hiding among the rats, Needle. Fitting. Guards here are vigilant. Workshop in the sewers. What is the needle's operation? All this silverware, some still in their crates. Has this all been seized as well? No, please, don't do this. I promise, I promise you, you're still in this I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dark in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you've seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? The fabric of this world has been used up, torn. Shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand, who can thread a needle. Someone like me. You are a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. I think your men are going to stop me. I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done! Oh. 
Stop! I'll finish! Get back here! Come, come, walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory, good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Gregory, I, 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 I didn't think you would mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. I run this operation. I do the thinking, you do as you're told. Child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by her sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky, hoping it was me he wept for, me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house, gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. For the first time, someone extended a hand showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the bolt, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt, and I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you. What no? 
animals do you bring? The needle will never sting again. Well done, Neivor. Who was hiding behind the name? My love, there has been an attack at the markets. The Dockmaster, Grigory, is dead. The needle. Sold off the ware as he ceased to collect silver for the vault. He had no such authority. Why would anyone believe him? The Council Seal. That rat. This is getting out of hand. How he was able to obtain this is concerning. I must return and prepare for the Yuletide Feast, but I will do so with a bent ear and a keen eye. Be safe. One down, two left. The Christian text will lead to another, I am sure of it. Search the archives. The archives. This must be where Alan shuffles the council papers. He's not here. I should look around. Weapons and supplies. But not enough to arm and feed even the smallest army. That is a lot. Thank you, Alden. I will leave with these at once. Of course. A4, isn't it? What brings you to our archives? I've come to ask about these Christian texts. Lufina tells me the Red Hand is stealing them. Mm, and destroying them? I fear they will attack these archives next. The Abbess here has offered to bring the texts somewhere safe. She's been working diligently on this matter. You flatter me, Lord. I only wish to help. Abbess Ingeborg, this is Eivor, our honored guest from the south. Eivor has offered to help rid Jorvik of the Red Hand. How can I help? The Red Hand seems to know where to look for these texts. It may be someone is guiding them. What can you tell me? You know something else. That much is clear. The abbess has her suspicions. As much as it pains me to say, I suspect something foul at the rectory. I have heard whispering, collusion, and the bishop. He has been sneaking around the rectory, often visiting the priests in the cover of night. Time I pay these men of faith a visit. The rectory is on the road to the minster. I should look for the bishop there. I have the Yuletide feast to prepare for as well. Uh, do drop by for the festivities, A4. Have a drink or two. The rectory. The abbess said she suspected secrecy among the priests and bishop. Seems quiet. Where is it, one? you doused in sweat and trembling so? The, the Red Hand. They're everywhere. Please, I don't want any trouble. Looks as though everyone else has fled this place. So why are you still here? Waiting for the bishop. One of our brothers said he would return soon. That's all I know, I swear it! Where's this other priest? He's locked himself in. That house, just there.
inside must be... Someone is hiding in there. I doubt he'll come out. I'll have to find a way in. Been here long, priest? Just who do you think you are, trespassing like this? This is my property you've destroyed. I hear you priests have been hiding ever since some Christian texts went missing. What are you hiding from? The Red Hand? Who else? They muscle their way to and fro. No one has done a thing about it. I'm looking for the bishop. Where is he? Gone to his quarters. Said he would return once he finished tending to a private matter. But that was some time ago. Show me there. Wh what do you mean to do with him? Now. Lord, forgive me. Et dixa ad eos, Andreas Domnus Noster, et cia ita es. Quod es trebent officini in asorium pabulum, reprabient delicta patrum The bishop's quarters. What is that burning smell? Several Christian texts. The Abbas was right to cast suspicion the bishop's way. Blood. There was a struggle here. Lord above! The, the bishop! No, no. I can't look! Oh, oh, the stench. He looks like searcher's shit. Charred letter beneath the body. He must have tried to hide it before he died. Someone knew the bishop was conflicted and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letter is burned, but makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that where she's been keeping these texts? Look around! Search every room! They're around here somewhere! It's them! It's the Red Hand! Oh, Lord have mercy! Quiet! The Red Hand. I need to leave. We will burn that sinner just like the others. Stay out of the way, heathen.
life. Just what do you think you're doing? This is no place for you, priest. Go. Now. Blasphemy! Stop this at once! Something troubling you, father? Abbess, look. They are burning all of these passages. Why are you not stopping this? Because I ordered them to. What? The vellum that burn before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned, but worry not. We have the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... you're mad! You won't get away with this! I won't let you... There is no one to tell. No one who will hear your cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. I want it all destroyed! Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes, Firebrand. The Abbess is the Firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. Time I get between her and her next victim. fire that burns inside. I've always had it. A longing to do something grand and important. But that door was always shut to me. My methods deemed too severe. I was cast out. Shunned. Scorned. But the Order, they took notice of me. Saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand, not a teacher's tongue. This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete, but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on, for one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. To 
Helheim, where cold and cruel the fires await. Bring. The firebrand's flame burns no longer. It was Jorvik's abyss, Inkiborg. Gods, I would never have suspected. Does the orders reach no no bounds? None. And it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. The abyss sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city, rid Jorvik of their ideals. She did utter a phrase that perked my ears. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. Could there be something we're missing? Damn Picts! Not only do they hold the North, but those lawless chicks have free roam in our lands as well. Yours said our spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone-beaten and bloodied. The Howling Mother take them. Lovina, a moment of your time. And Hjor if he's about. I will be with you shortly. A valuable seal. And a riddle. One of the four is ours. One of the four. Rhysia, Falavith, Odin, and... You're... the four members of the Council. We should search their offices now, while they're occupied with the Yuletide Feast. Yes. Yes. Come. To the archives. Could I have missed something? We will find out soon enough. About. The room to the left. That is where the council is. A wax seal. Similar to the one I found in the sewers. The seal you took from the needle's hand. You don't think someone could have stolen it? Let's keep searching. This desk. It looks as though it's been moved here. That's yours, desk. It is loaded with silver. Scratch marks on the floor. Yours, desk, used to be against the other wall. So why the change? Guard the door. There was wine here. Whoever moved it did so in a hurry. A load of wine was removed from here, and the room smells of almonds. It may be the wine was poisoned. It is likely the wine for the Yuletide feast. Do you think one of the council means to kill someone? Looks that way. It is not him, not Major. He would never do this. He... Keep your focus. Once we have all the facts, then we can worry about Hjor. Right now we need to get to the Yuletide feast. The people are in danger. You're right. The Roman amphitheater. Let us go. Do you see the wine? No. Then there's still time. The entire council is here. Any one of them could be the vault. I need you to keep an eye out for the wine. I will speak to each of the council members, see if I can trap them in a lie. Even Hjor? Even Hjor. If he is the vault, I will not allow him to kill all these people. Lufina. I heard you. Just grant me one thing. Confer with me before you make your move. I will.
now to speak to the council member. Faravid, a word if I may. Ah, Drenger. If it's to join arms with me, the answer is yes. We can use someone like you against the Picts. I may be courted, but I'm selective with whom I join. Are you a drinker? Ha! Ah, if that is a challenge, I am up for it. Very well. I'll return with some wine. Wine? <laughs> Come now, we will do this over ale. That will give us a good measure of who can better fight its lure. Now to speak to the council members. Speak of the wine and watch for their reactions. That may lead me to the vault. Oh, then. It seems you have found the funds to go ahead with the feast after all. You must be elated. <laughs> that is putting it lightly. Look at it! I could not have asked for a better turnout. Soon the feast will begin. And these people will be given everything they deserve. We should honor you. I will fetch us some wine. Uh, no, no, no. I, I mustn't indulge. Uh, the wine is for the people of Jorvik. Uh, but when it arrives, do help yourself. What a delightful feast! Alden has outdone himself. He has indeed. Hjor, who was that? There you are. I was beginning to worry. Worry not. We have tracked the vault here. Is someone on the council? You are certain? I am. Once I discover who, I will dig my blade into his heart and end this for good. Until then, it is important that I investigate without raising suspicion. I need your help. Of course. What do you need me to do? Drink yourself into a drunken fit. What? Why? I need a distraction. Keep their eyes off of me. The wine should arrive soon. Drink three full cups, then make a scene. I can't be seen doing that. You'll have to find another way. Just do it. I will have the silver ready in the coming days. Thank you, Bob. Rishie. Ah, come to... I have some bad news. The wine for... Of course it has. Why would I expect differently? I'll have my men dump it. There may be more wine in my private stores. I'll send a man to retrieve it. Is there anything else? That is all. I shall try. Yes, indeed. The high reeve of Jorvik has a bright future ahead if it keeps... Eivor, have you uncovered who the vault is? I believe I have. Each of the council members has given me reason to suspect them. Some more than others. Who is it you suspect? Audun was the one pushing for the feast from the start. He planned it, which means he would have had access to the wine. And he was helping Abazingibor collect Christian texts. She turned out to be the firebrand. Yes. Yes, you're right. And the wine? Of all the council arrived, when I offered some, he flat out refused, insisting it be saved for the guests. For these reasons, I think Audun is the vault. Brothers! Sisters! Dear friends, welcome all. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our honored guests. Here with me are some of Jorvik's most revered lords, men and women who have kept Jorvik trudging through these harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on the day we honor you, we honor as well the nobles to whom we are all so The wine. Aldun is the vault. Too late for them. We must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve and to more. Shit. And now, deafened and blinded by lust for indulgence, your foolish pride. I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilmen to safety. I will handle all of them. Go. You should not be seen in this area. Protect the king! Aldun. There is no escape. No fear.
What did you hope to gain with all this? What riches are worth so much misery and the deaths of honorable men and women? Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. They are privileged, sedentary, complacent. They wasted their resources. I secured our power through wealth. I contributed to the future of a glorious order. On the backs of honest people, merchants, and priests, and nobles alike. A4, you are wrong. Held back by your primitive cosmology. Nine worlds in the tree? No. Nine times nine thousand worlds. And as many suns. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. So does the wise one seek wisdom. Countless spheres awaiting our gift, our enlightenment. I live in one world only. You live in none. We're fine. Father Lud and his car is escorting Kirishie back to the Royal Hall. Everyone is safe. Let's regroup there. It's all shit. Conspiring, right? I don't care. I want answers. Calm, Lord Rishia. Alden is dead. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard's spine out myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. Audun aligned himself to a secret group that was plotting to overtake Jorvik. He had help from two others. Grigory the Dark Master and Ingeborg the Abyss. And you, Eivor? You were after these conspirators from the moment you arrive? Yes, though I could not let it be known. This group can reach any person, permeate the walls of any city. Much like the worms of us, they would have eaten Jorvik from the inside out if we let them. Would you stop that from happening? We owe you a debt of gratitude. You can be sure Haft and Jarl will hear of this. 